Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about the top five things you should know about your character before you get started role-playing them. Now, it can be really fun sometimes to just make a character off the top of your head and dive into your first interaction. But if you want to make things easier on yourself and more dynamic and more interesting in the role play, then you need to think a little bit more deeply about your character before you start that first interaction. So with that being said, these are the five essential things that you need to know about your character before you start those interactions. Number one, your character's history. So just like your past was important to shape you and everyone that you know's past was important to shape them, your character's history is really important to shaping your character. So this is why it's the first thing that I start with. So this is absolutely essential to building a good character, even if we're talking about a canon character. So when we're talking about canon characters, we're talking about researching. And when we're talking about original characters, we're talking about brainstorming. But either way, it's really important. So what we should be thinking of is things like, what do we want that character to be like? And what things in their past shaped them to make them into the character that you want to be playing? So when building a character's history, we should be thinking about the major life events that happened to them that shaped how they are today. So you don't have to design every little thing, but we should be thinking about things like what circumstances were they born into? what sort of things happened to them during their childhood, and then maybe after their childhood, what sorts of things did they do when they had a little bit more agency and choices in their life. So this history is essentially the building blocks of your character and a way for others to start to understand them. So these are the pieces of information that you definitely want to be sharing with others when you're talking about your character. Number two, your character's family. So this is something you probably started thinking about when you were building your character's history, but it's worth giving it specifically a little bit of time to think about the family dynamic specifically. What were the character's parents like? Are their parents still around today? Were they raised by both of their parents? Were they maybe raised by one of their parents? Were they more raised by a family friend or an aunt or an uncle than their parents? All sorts of family situations are valid and should be considered. It's also worth thinking about your character's siblings. Siblings go into a lot of shaping a character's likes and dislikes and personality, especially if those siblings were close in age growing up because they're going to be spending a lot of time together. So was your character an only child or did they have some siblings or maybe close cousins around that they grew up with? And lastly, when it comes to thinking about the character's family, we should be thinking about the character's extended family. So do they have extended family still around? Why or why not? Do they maybe have a favorite aunt or uncle? Did they grow up with their cousins? Are their grandparents still around? And depending on the culture of the character that you're building, extended family can be really important. So it's worth thinking about. So on to number three, likes and dislikes. So this is really something that's going to make the character start to feel not just like a character, but like a real person. Everyone has preferences. People prefer certain foods, certain colors, certain decor, certain traits and partners. And we should be thinking about how this applies to our character. So maybe how do they take their coffee? Do they even drink coffee? How do they answer the pineapple on pizza question? These are all things that are worth considering to really flesh out that character. We don't have to go crazy with it, but we should start to think of some things that might affect the role play that's going to make that character feel really real to you and make it easier to play them. This is also where we should be thinking about things like do they have a particular hobby or pastime that they enjoy? Number four, strengths and weaknesses. So this is where we're going to start to consider, is our character balanced? We want to make sure that our character is not only fun for us to be role-playing, but for others to role-play with. And no one's perfect. Everyone has weaknesses. Everyone has flaws. And our character should as well. So for every power or positive trait, there should be some kind of drawback or weakness to that character. If you create a character that's incredibly powerful and kind and perfect in every way, no one's going to really be interested in role-playing with that character because everyone wants to feel special. So if your character is the most special, you're opening yourself up to a situation where your partners never feel like they can have their character be special too. So when we're considering strengths and weaknesses, this is your opportunity to make sure that your character is balanced for others that you're role playing with. And lastly, number five, appearance. So this one isn't so much important to you, although it might be depending on the character, but more so it's important to the other people that you're role-playing with. People want to be able to visualize something when they're role-playing with your character. So they're going to want to know a little bit about what your character looks like. So we can do this in lots of ways. You can describe just in text how your character looks. You could maybe draw a picture of them if you're a little bit more artistic. 
or you might use what's called a face claim or a play by. So a face claim is when you pick out a celebrity that approximates the looks of your character. So if you imagine like if your role play was a movie or a TV show, what actor is it that you would want playing your character? So that's going to be what a face claim is. So whatever way works for you as far as appearance goes is great. There's going to be different things that are popular in different circles of role play. So take a look at the community that you're joining and what kind of role plays you're getting into and see what other people are doing and see if you can match how they're doing the appearance. Because those different things are going to go into exactly how people see your character. So it's important to match what the rest of the community is doing. So these are my must decide things. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this video because I could make more videos on different things for building characters because even though these are my must decide things, there's lots of other stuff that you can do that maybe isn't quite as essential, but is fun and really helps flesh out that character. So do you decide all of these things before you start playing a character? Do you maybe decide some of these things? Are there things that I didn't list that are always like must decide for you? Let me know in the comments down below what your lists are. I'm super curious about how other people build characters and what they put into them. So remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all of the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.